I want to speak briefly on the topic, it is the Lord that advances. Dear friend, listen to me. It is possible that since this year started, since this year began, there has been so many wonderful expectations when the year 2024 came. You were made to write and prepare yourself. You had so much expectations of good. So much expectations. In fact, the year came, it was looking so colorful, so bright. As if God adjusts you as his program for the year. And the year came, January passed, February. We came to October and somebody said, October will not miss I will not miss what is in hate. And before your very eyes, you crossed October. Now you have stepped into the 11th month. And you are asking yourself, all this while, from January till October, I can only boast of breathing. I can only boast that I had breath. I can only boast that I have just been barely surviving. It seems as if if I take a little write-up and I want to reckon, what I have asked to experience in the course of the year is like I have not made any progress this year. I bring you word, I bring you good news today. This is an opportunity on transit. Someone, there's an advancement transitioning to you. I say there's an advancement transitioning your way. If I'm talking to you, you may just stand up and shout your receiving amen. There is an advancement coming. I believe with my heart that God is not true with you yet. Listen to me. One day is enough for God to turn the story of a man around. One second is too big because God is not, God is not conditioned by time. He lives in time. Outside time, he lives in all. Time lives in him. In fact, he created time. The Bible said that Samuel came up one day said, you have asked for a king and now I've given you a king. He has been anointed Christine to be a king. But listen to me. He said, now nah, I want to ask you a question. He said, you have been here all these years. I want someone to, to just stand and prove me wrong. If for any reason I have been able to defraud any person. Listen to me, friends. I want to start by saying in life that any throne your charisma cannot give to you. Your character will keep you long to access it. It is important as you begin to grow in life, as God gives you things and you begin to see opportunities, don't just be carried away by the charisma. Don't be carried away by the flag. Don't be carried away by the things that happens. Those things are good. But you must know that there is a place, there is a point, there is an attitude of integrity that you must celebrate above every other thing. Samuel was raised to be a prophet. Of course, you know the story of Samuel, a young man that was a, a victim of prophecy. I call him a victim of prophecy because the mother could not bear. But one day came, the mother said, this case must be changed. That I must advance to the next level. I can no longer continue staying every day crying. This day I must cry and cry and cry to the end. And the prophet in his time, the priest in his time could not even discern, could not decode some simple thing. It is simple intelligence to know that that woman was not drunk that morning because it was too early to be drunk. But there are certain times that God wants to do things for you. He might even make your priest wrong because it's not about the priest, it's about him. Because when God is about to do things, he breaks protocols. I pray for someone here that whatever delay you have been experiencing, get ready, you will take you will take harvest of your testimony today. Ah. The Bible said that the case of somewhere is such a case that every time which I study that case, I feel I feel there is there is there is it that the writer made some mistake. If you read first Samuel chapter one, how Anna was before the altar praying, and Eli, the Bible says he marked her mouth and noticed that this woman was and he came to say, How come you be drunk? And you and I know that that was too early by normal intelligence. Certain moments in time, God allows some misjudgment to happen in your life because there is something He wants to do. The how you handle the conflicts of your life is what will guarantee the resultant blessing that comes with it. Hey, Anna had the opportunity to have been angry and bitter. Anna had the opportunity to have been hateful, resentful, to say to 
prophet or, or chief priest or papa or bishop or hack bishop Eli how dare you accuse me of being drunk and I had it but do you know what happened despite knowing that she was in a very difficult situation where her co-wife was already mocking her still the bible said when he lied told her stop being drunk and this stuff she was not hungry she only said my lord hey character tell somebody character tell somebody attitude say my lord can't mean not to be as one of these women that lack character he said for out of the burden the trouble the afflictions of my heart i have come to to, to to pray i have come to cry before god listen to me somebody you entered here not knowing that today will be your day Amameliata, before the end of today you will see the visitation of jesus you are going to have a visitation that will turn your life around if i'm speaking to you may just say amen with faith now the background of samuel is what i'm saying and this samuel came you know the story when Eli saw the mother was serious. The Bible says Eli said, Go, the Lord grants you. Remember, at that time there were no more open vision. Eli, as it were, may have been abandoned or forgotten. His sons were not even ready to take off. Because when God wants to step into your case, even if there's no prophet, he takes somebody. That's why I said we are victims of prophecy. I may have not been ready, I may have not come here prepared, but there is something that must happen. And God has counted me worthy to be the one, to be the custodian of the Maneya Tamanuski Halabahatisha. Listen to me. There are certain moments in time that God has to seek things to sift you. There are certain moments in time. There are certain moments in time that ever wants to do something, and when God is about to do something, it does not come with popular opinion, it does not come with influential people, it does not come with the accepted, it comes his way. I tell people that the language of God is God, He speaks God, so He speaks God. That's why you have been thinking that God will help you through your uncle because he's rich, but he didn't come through your uncle. <laughs> Some of you think ah, if I get this job, this job, everything is here, but the job came. <laughs> you are not looking for another job. There are things you have been praying for. Some of you say, if I get this promotion now, everything is done. God does not come your way because he speaks one language, God. Somebody as we speak now there's a shift happening in the realm of the spirit it is my desire and prayer for you may you not miss what god is bringing your way i say may you not get bitter and miss what god is bringing your way ah uh, now this samuel now came eventually and the mother already promised him to god and left him abandoned him left him with god and this guy grew the bible says somewhere made a statement so profound he said you all know i grew before you as a child up until now you saw the process of my growth every one of you know my story and somewhere has the question he said i want to ask a question every one of you who will stand and said i have bear witness against me and the anointed of the lord today this cake bear witness whose us have i taken why will he ask that question? The premise of that, you know, Ophne and Phineas, the sons of Eli, they had a very wrong testimony about them. How they were doing things and messing things up. So everyone was expecting that this guy was going to go and flow in that same dimension. Listen to me. In a world where purity is extinct, be the pure person. In, in a world where respect has lost its value, still be that one that will be an example in the world where the remains of hell is everywhere be the remnant of god is somebody hearing me someone said whose ass have i taken he said whose ass have i taken the car i drive whose car did i take if i defrauded any of you let him speak if i collected bribe she speak this was a boy who was left you know the life of samuel was a lonely life 
how come your mother gave birth to you after winning you dropped you that was that was enough for a young man to be bitter there are many church boys today who are bitter with their parents why didn't you put me in the clubhouses where my friends are enjoying but somewhere held on to the encounter i had and the bible says when he has that the whole people sat. It is, it, it, is, it is terrible to ask that question in today's world. Mm. As a minister, it's not wisdom to ask that question. Are you hearing me? Because he asked that question. And the whole people said, none of us. He said, I am asking you to bear witness against you. He said, we are witness. Integrity. Character. And this Samuel... I thought he was going to preach on that. He was going to dwell his message on what the people said about him. You know what? He now came to verse 6. And now said, he said, And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. So many of us would have built a whole, you know, message from the fact that you can see nobody. Sure, you said it. And that will be will be dilly-dallying and wasting time there. But somewhere eventually turned it over to God again. And what did he say? He said, it is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. So hear me this month. Some of you have been building on what people said about you or this why. Building on the good things they said about you. Some of you have been building on the good reviews you get. But you have not refocused everything around you to the lord he said for it is the lord that advanced so what is the business doing somewhere moses he took it that way you may not understand why i'm saying this but i want you to understand this god is still fishing for men who will give him his praise god is still looking for men who will always point the people to him no matter how successful we have become it is not a product of my hard work first corinthians chapter 15 verse 10 paul said i am what i am but i am what i am by the grace of god he said therefore the grace that was given me that was bestowed on me was not in vain for i labored more about how can a man who is laboring more abundantly be telling that i am what i am by grace so you can be the best staff but can you say it is God that advanced me as a staff? You can be so anointed that even the shadow of Peter is, is you no, know, your shadow, you don't need your now, it's now your it does that you pass the little hair that passes with you. you. Can hear people, but can you remember it is the Lord that advances? Many of you since January, you've been trusting in yourself. You trusted on your good business plan, you trusted on your skill set. You trusted that you have you want to get the driving license you trusted that i have done my preparation very well you have done a lot of things based on the harm of flesh and right now you are expecting an advancement but the advancement have not come listen the difference between us and the world is that for us it is all about god for them it's, a, it's about the world anything we do whatever achievement we have is called achievement for the world before us is achievement for a man can have nothing except he receives and then in this time and age where everybody is trying to show off god is still looking for men whose testimony will be it is the lord that advanced me god is still looking for men who the day we come to their celebration ground where they are the world is celebrating them at the end of it they say jesus you did it men who will return the glory to god not men like Herod, who because they can speak english they add so much oratory proverbs they put he put on that royal apparel that they and sat on his throne do you know none of those things was the problem of god because god gave him all if you are a king god is the king of kings if they call you the royal your royal highness god is the most highness i don't know whatever anybody can be even if you are a god god is the god of gods if you are his lordship he's the lord of our soul the bishop of our soul whatever we are god is 
God was, God is still. When, when, when you retire, God has not started. Now, when he sat that day and gave a wonderful speech, and people began to shout, wow, this is the voice of the gods. The Bible says suddenly. Why did he die? The Bible says because he gave not God the glory. Not because he did not wear his royal, he wore his royal apparel. Not because of his speech. So, your success does not intimidate God. Hear me, as a matter of fact, the best of your success is still the definition of the smallest of your success before God. Because whatever you have done, whatever you have achieved, is nothing compared to what God wants to give to you. Because the word of God says, eyes have not seen. So if it has been seen, then this is not it yet. Oh my God, oh my God, is somebody hearing me? Declare, God will advance me. Say, I am advanced of the Lord. So listen to me as I round up now. Let me say this to you. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, maybe you're online watching me. Don't give up. Ten months may have gone. This 11 months can change everything. Uh, in Matthew chapter 20, there was a story of a laborer who was hiring men to work in his vineyard. The Bible say at the beginning, in Matthew chapter 20, in, he said, the king for the kingdom of God ever is like unto a man that is an householder which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into what is vineyard verse 2 and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day he sent them into his vineyard verse 3 and they went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace verse 4 and said unto them go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right Notice he did not agree with them this time. The first hour he agreed with them. But this set of people, because already, of course, you understand it. So we, we, we understand it. This set of people is meeting them in the third hour. So two hours of job. Two hours. I remember the cab that was bringing us. We just came out about 12 minutes late. He told us, I will charge you for extra. And why was I say yes? I said, okay. We came here. And when he charged us, I said, well, my son said, just for this he said yes he said i would have charged you for one hour extra and when i heard that i laughed in my heart he said he said but i didn't charge you for half an hour i charged you for 25 minutes and this is what i charged you and i laughed in my heart you know why i laughed i remember this scripture even man will not miss his time how much more the employer but here the bible said in the he said whatever is right that means you know if i'm paying them one yours will be minus two that should be their expectation but in the hand minus 20 percent of the entire food and the hand he, he sent them and the bible went on and on he kept coming he kept coming because of time verse 5 he said and he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise whatever is right some people have been working since january some people have been earning since january some have been making money since january the entire salary they already said by the hand of and now the bible says after that verse 6 and about the 11th hour he went out and found notice he found found means that there was a session this could mean that these guys they have been out since morning but they were in the wrong place he went out and found because all the while he's been meeting people in the right place but these ones somebody hear me and hear me well there is a assassin for you this month and god will find you your miracle will find you your testimony will find you the bible says, and found and the moment he found he said he went up and found others standing idle this one now standing idle they were check the others there was no property but this one why the emphasis on find standing idle in the 11th hour he said and he said unto them why stand ye here all the day idle and look at their reply the bible said they say unto him because no man had hired us he said unto them go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right that shall ye receive so when evening was come this people had to work just for one hour sir there are people that will labor there are people that we are where they be stood no labor don't mind people don't blame people when god is visiting them 
He said, whatsoever. Now, in verse 8, so when even was come, the Lord of the fire said unto his steward, call the laborers and give them their hire. Beginning, oh my God, this is not fair, sir. When God wants to advance you, it's not always fair. I'm sorry to tell you, people want to understand why, why God will bless you. God blesses you because of his son, Jesus Christ. That's enough. And God blesses you because he has loved you with an everlasting love. They are seeing things around you, but God is seeing his image. He said, he, he created you in his image and likeness. He said, beginning from the last. That means the 11th hour guys were the ones to first receive. Now, assuming the money was not going to be enough. Hello? You no, know, sometimes like that, you know, things like that may happen. They can occur, of course. Let's assume the money was not going to be enough. Who will suffer most? Now, when the line, eh? when the line, everybody this is the line when we are when we want to attend to but who do we start with who is number one in this place the first is this but what when the master decides to move here i say come i want to start well, yeah, turn everybody turn turn and face me who becomes number one god bless you you will always remain now nah, let me now correct something okay remain there i have faced me who is number one all of them is number one so go so the moment he said pay them all he said what starting from the last i don't know you that have not gotten things this year i look you know maybe you don't have your child you don't have your job yet you don't have this you don't have that you don't have that listen to me the story is about to change for when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we are like men that dream dreams your story is about to change for god will advance you i said god will advance you